So Bergel and his co-authors also use such inverse probability weighting uh, for the instrumental variable regressions, and they show that it allows them to consistently estimate this local average treatment effect, even though the probability to be assigned to some particular treatment differs among regions. Actually, they did not exactly know this assignment probabilities, but one can kind of estimate the assignment probabilities. You can look, uh, well, how many people are in this region um, assigned um, to this particular treatment, and it could also be that maybe assignment probabilities vary uh, per, per across other explanatory variables like gender and so on. So one could kind of, in an initial regression, estimate those assignment probabilities. One typically would use some logit or probit regression, which we don't discuss here, uh, and use then these estimated assignment probabilities uh, uh, for inverse probability weighting. That's what also is often done. And I think that's also what, what Behagel did, but they, they don't provide any data or code for this step. They, they basically, they just uh, provide with their uh, data set the weights they came up with. So in the Arturo problem set, you will just use uh, the weights they have provided. So this also means we don't go into detail how you kind of estimate these um, assignment probabilities or these inverse probability weights. So let's take a look at uh, the results. Um, so we still compare basically the basic job counseling treatment to the intensive public job counseling treatment. And here um, is kind of the regression results if we use the uh, weighted IV regression. And well, here yeah, for the public counseling, it's almost the same than if I have run my unweighted instrumental variable regression. So here it really doesn't seem to make a big difference if we have kind of still kind of the same treatment effect, kind of like 10 percentage points. Also, you see kind of the constant is a bit different in the in the weighted IV regression. So it's a smaller percentage now, basically, of the probability to find a job in the control group. But not much has changed. The, the difference is will kind of be larger if you compare the control group to the private uh, job counseling program. Probably there we had more this... Uh, more different weights among the regions. Uh, maybe for the public um, program, they, they perhaps fairly randomly assigned uh, the treatments. That may be a reason why we don't find big differences here. Let's now finally also analyze basically, basically the treatment effect um, for this private job counseling program, so which was not conducted by the public uh, employment agency, but uh, by private firms, and we we basically just also run a regression, an instrumental variable regression, a weighted instrumental variable regression, um, comparing basically uh, uh, using just the data from the private setting and the control group. And what we find here is a considerably smaller effect. Yeah, so the results show that um, the private intensive job counseling increases the probability to find a job uh, compared to these guys in control group by less than half as much as a job a public job counseling so only by 4.2 percentage points and, and now you see kind of this sort of results of course has important policy implications right? because it, it, some politicians probably believe that uh, the private companies are much better in, in, in placing the unemployed than kind of uh, public officials but we see at least here in this setting, in this experiment, that indeed uh, it seems to be that the uh, public employment agency or unemployment agency has more than twice as much success if they were giving enough resources so that they can do intensive job counseling. The basic job counseling kind of in the control group is worse than the private uh, counseling, but they have much more job seekers uh, they have to care about. So the main effect rather seems to be, uh, or, or to improve um, success, is kind of giving uh, your, your guys from the employment agencies more time to care more about job seekers. There could be other effects. Maybe those uh, counselors who, who participated in the public program were the highly motivated counselors. So it's not clear whether also the counselors were randomly assigned uh, to, uh, to be... Um, 
in the intensive treatment or if it's only the job seekers. And of course, if, if, if you are in the public treatment, you have kind of the very skilled counselors that do this and maybe this may be biased. And if we make intensive public job counseling using all job counselors, maybe the effect is also still smaller. So this, of course, should have uh, must be discussed. But in a sense, I think this is a very, very nice paper because it, it tells us what we should do if we have a policy proposal. If we think maybe private job counseling is better than public job counseling, it could be, but let's run randomized experiments to test it out. We, we should not just debate on uh, have ideology debate. We should test it out and we can test it out. And I think this was very nice that uh, this has been done in France. And of course, also very nice that the data was uh, made uh, available and so far that we can even replicate some of these analysis steps in the R tutor problem set. So that's all from the videos for this chapter.